grand opening, grand closing. Welcome, my friends, my family, my fellow gamers. Your only friend is YouTube Streets Porter Rock seventy seven. Back at you with another video. This is this is a video more for the casual gamer, right? And maybe maybe you won't see this video, right? Maybe the people who are part of the algorithm, the YouTube algorithm, you know, it's mostly the more informed, more, you know, more gamers that are really look for information. You know, um, I'm, I would hope that this video reaches you. But if you're a hardcore gamer and you're into YouTube, what I ask you is if you know casual gamers that don't really know much about gaming or that, you know, they enjoy PlayStation and stuff like that. This video's for them, right? I want to show you guys something. Um, to set the tone so you can understand this now listen to this listen to this video right now sony i'm starting to think that you like pissing us off because what is this the ps6 coming out this christmas i just got the ps5 i ain't even played that good yet how how the ps6 coming out before the new grand theft auto Every time I think that life is getting good, the universe slaps me upside my head. So now I'm So the reason why I'm bringing this up to my attention cuz I actually had some friends call me cuz they know I'm into gaming, I do YouTube channel and I'm really, you know, they know I'm, you know, really into gaming and stuff. They're casual gamers. Like they just got college 2025. They like Call of Duty. They'll play some first party games. Usually they call me cuz they don't know about it. They're not on Twitter. They're not reading IGN. They don't do none of that. So they need help with, you know, the type of games to play or whatever, whatever. So I give them recommendations and stuff like that. And and so far, because I know what they like in a sense, they really enjoy it, right? I don't I don't I don't try to convince them to play Grand Blue Fantasy Versus or Relink or anything like that. I I I I know exactly the type of games they love, right? But they love The Last of Us, Uncharted, God of War. I got it. I know exactly, you know, advise them. But when they brought this up to my attention, because they're on TikTok and I ran across their feed, they're like, bro, I just got a PS5 and now they're doing a PS6. And I'm like, what are you talking about? Like, what? what? They're like, bro, check this out. And the reason why they looked at this is because of the metrics. Like, if you look at the metrics, he did great. This guy did phenomenal. He got 1.9 million likes. You know what I'm saying? 31,000 comments, you know, 170,000 bookmarks, right? This thing spread like wildfire, right? So, like, my friends, and I would imagine they can't be the only ones. Everybody thinks a PlayStation 6 is coming, right? And they're like, and, and when you look at the design, and I know the, if you look on the top right corner, TCMFG Games, he always does this. He always does little, you know, GIFs, images, and things like that, and predictions. And he does really make beautifully designed images that makes you think this is the real thing, right? So this is for them. So obviously, my general audience, my subscribers, you know there's no PlayStation 6. In fact, we know the PlayStation 5 Pro is what's coming next, which is still within the PlayStation 5 family, right? But if you're a casual, you know, or you know casual showing this video, there is no PlayStation 6 anytime soon. We'll be lucky if we get a PlayStation 6 in 2028. I don't think. I, that's just a, a feeling. I have a feeling this gen may potentially stretch out a little longer. This might be the first 10-year gen. That's just a feeling. I don't have no information to back it up. It's just a general feeling. The reason why I feel that way is because of how long games take. If you truly want to take advantage of a generation and, you know, and all the tools that you built and all the products and the skill sets and the workforce that you hired, you want to make multiple games within that gen. Well, if it takes five years to make a game, I don't think eight years is enough. You need 10 years at least. So that way you can at least get two solid AAA games, three or four, five AA games, and six, seven, eight single A games. You know, you really want to maximize the time frame and stuff like that. But the PlayStation 6, no. So for the casual audience, you're probably hearing rumors of new hardware from PlayStation. And because of this, you guys think of the PlayStation 6. Like, no, the new hardware that's coming is the PlayStation 5 Pro. It is still a PlayStation 5, just more powerful. So what does that mean to you as a casual gamer? It doesn't mean anything. Enjoy your PlayStation 5. Your PlayStation 5 is fine. 
all the games are coming to it there will be no exclusives for the playstation 5 pro so do not fear that they're only going to make grand theft auto 6 for the playstation 5 pro the playstation 5 pro is still a playstation 5 it's just more powerful hardware just to make playstation 5 games run better that doesn't mean the playstation 5 games is going to run bad on the playstation 5 they're going to run great you've seen what the console does it's a it's a phenomenal console it's a great console you're good so if you already have the playstation 5 don't even stress it out you know enjoy your college football enjoy your call of duty mech spider-man wolverine they're gonna run great they're gonna look great on your tv you're good this is more of a hardcore enthusiast conversation you guys are great you're gonna get all the games all the support nothing will happen to you nothing okay you're good don't even worry about it, okay? The PlayStation 5 Pro is more for the enthusiasts, the hardcore, the more techie console gamers. Pretty much the console gamers that play everything, you know, play the games that you don't want to play, right? And all metrics and stuff like that, right? And we're going to be fine. You guys are fine. The rest of PlayStation Nation is fine. Everything is fine. We're not seeing a PlayStation 6 for a while, okay? If a PlayStation 6 does come out, it's most likely 2028. If it's the normal eight year time frame, I'm guessing 10 year time frame, but that's just a guess. But either way, don't even worry about it. Don't stress out. If you haven't got a PlayStation 5 yet and you're interested, get the PlayStation 5. You're probably thinking, but, but what about the Pro? Let me ask you, son. Are you really that concerned with power? Are you really that concerned with performance? Do you even talk about that stuff? If the answer is no, I really, you know, do you go to Digital Foundry? and check the specs and stats and stuff like that if you don't even know who digital foundry is don't worry about the ps5 pro that's not your lane if you don't actually go on the internet and try to find you know the how many frames this game actually does compared to other games if you don't do those things if you simply just go to the playstation store buy a game play and love it or you go to the store get a physical copy play and love it playstation 5 is perfect in fact i kind of envy you i envy you you gamers that just moved away and don't even look at the internet, don't even look at magazines, don't look at Digital Foundry, don't look at YouTube. I wish I wish I could be you guys. I, ignorance is bliss because you guys are enjoying games more than guys like us. Because, we, you know, we tend to nitpick stuff for no reason at all, right? We complain about 55 frames and whatever while you guys are just, oh, this is the best game ever. Stay there. PlayStation 5 will provide that for you. You're going to love it. Don't even worry about it. You're good. PlayStation 5 is fine. So if you haven't get it and you're wondering, should I get it now? Yes, absolutely get it. It's going to get all the games. you got a huge backlog to catch up to. Spider-Man 2, Miles Morales, God of War Ragnarok, Demon Souls. I mean, oh, there's a slew of games for you to catch up from both first party, third party exclusives, third party, multi-plat, second party. Oh, you're going to love the gaming, right? Hopefully... If, if you're asking, should I get it today? I would wait to Black Friday. Just wait a couple of more months. If you ain't got a PS5 by now, wait a couple of more months. Because you could probably get a great deal. Who knows? We could potentially have even further price drops. So you could get the PS5 even cheaper. Right? That's potential. Especially if Sony announces the PS5 Pro, that can cause the PS5 to drop in price. Right? So that, that way there could be a bigger gap in price to make the PS5 Pro even seem more, you know, valuable, whatever. So you could benefit, whatever. But if you don't want to wait because you want to play these games now, maybe you want to play college football, maybe you're a big college football fan, whatever. Whatever game you want to play, you want to play now, then get it. Get out there, enjoy yourselves, do your thing. But PlayStation 6, don't worry about it. No PlayStation 6 until next gen starts. And next gen ain't starting until at least 2028. That's the earliest you're going to see next gen for the PlayStation brand, right? That's the earliest. And even if you buy the console now and you're thinking, well, that means my console is only valuable for four years. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Your, the PlayStation 5 is going to go way deep into 2028, 2029, 2020, 2031. You saw how deep the PlayStation 4 is now. It's only going to be worse with the PlayStation 5 because it is a great built console the playstation 4 wasn't really a great built console it was okay it did its thing but it has a lot of outdated hardware playstation 5 has great hardware so you best believe when 2028 launches 2029 2030 games will still be made for your playstation 5 they will still be cross-gen games and i guarantee those cross-gen games are going to run deep three years into it so you're still going to be able to enjoy 
You buy a PlayStation console now, you got a good at least a good six, seven years of enjoying it. Maybe even more. So don't worry about it. Get the PlayStation 5. Don't worry about the internet hysteria. This video is for you casuals. You're good. Enjoy it. This is your only friend's YouTube streets, Porter Rock 77. And if you like this type of information, it's simple or whatever, stick around. But if you don't, I get it. You're not really into the video game. Perfectly fine. But can you at least give a like for this one video? I would appreciate it. You guys take care. Have a great rest of the weekend. You guys take care. Your only friend is YouTube streets, Porter Rock 77. And I'm out of here. Peace. Grand opening. Grand closing.